Hey guys, welcome to Hermit Crab Diaries. So, um, this is my first post for Hermit Crab Diaries, and I made it because I'm getting Hermit Crab soon, and I want to post, um, kind of like a make a diary of, um, my Hermit Crabs and, um, the adventures we go on. <laughs> um, so I'll show you the sand first because I just want to show everyone, like, um, a bit of the stuff that I've got so far for them. Um, the rest of it I am getting tomorrow and then I just have to wait for the heat mat to come off eBay. So I will show you the sand. This is a 20 kilo bag of Rich Grow Wash Play Sand. I looked it up on the internet and it is completely fine for hermit crabs. Um, so, yep. Um, I went to some pet shops and there were like 3 kilo bags of sand for $20 and I got that 20 kilo um, bag for only $15 from Bunnings so yeah I hope it's all good um the next thing I'm going to show you guys is just a simple stuff like this is um spray bottle and this is just to spray in the tank and keep up the humidity um, then I've also got this this came today this was the other thing I got off eBay um, so it tells the humidity, so I'll just put the batteries in. I took them out so um, they don't run out before I get hermit crabs, but let's put those in. There you go. Yeah, so you can see that it is, um, it's backwards, but it's 52% um, humidity in my room right now. And it is 28.9 degrees Celsius. I live in Australia, so it is quite, it can get quite hot here and quite humid. So I'm hoping that that means my hermit crabs will be very happy. Um, so what else do I have to show you guys? Um, showed you the spray bottle. I've got this. So I had a um, bearded dragon which we saved out of our pool, but she passed away. So this was out of her tank, and it's just fake um, bush. So I think they'll really enjoy climbing on that. Look, it's like the size of my head. Yeah. <laughs> um, then, sorry, I say I'm a lot, don't I? Um, I've got this jar. I still need to take the label off, but I'm going to bury it on a slight angle. And so it's, all this will be covered with just that showing. And basically I'm going to make a little humid cave for them. So in winter, if it does get a bit low for them, they will have one or two of these, depending on the humidity in the um, tank. So they can go in here um, and they can breathe properly. And yeah, but um, I will try my hardest to keep it up to what it should be. So... 75% um, humidity um, or and no more than 80 or 90 so yeah um, so this is off a bird cage that we used to have I'm using a lot of things that I had for my rats and birds and that kind of thing so I will give it all a good wash but that's just a, like a little ladder for them to climb on then this was my rats for my rats it was a um, hamster wheel basically but I'm not using it for that I'm going to bury half of it so you'll only see this part the rest will be under sand and basically it will create a little bridge for them to climb over other things I've got is this is their dishes so that I'm going to put food in or water haven't decided yet these are for food they're little um, sauces and I've also got these little guts here. Wow. So these, I think they might enjoy climbing on. Like, you can turn them upside down. You can stack them a little bit. And, you know, it's just decoration for their um, tank as well. Okay. So I've also got this. So... Um, I've got a, one a bit more shallow than this, but I'm going to make a little swimming pool for them. So this is going to, this is what's going to have salt water in it. Um, so that's going to be what they can bathe in. And um, they do swim and they enjoy water. So I've decided to get, you know, 
something that they can really get the water everywhere on their body basically and I will put rocks in it so they can get out okay so next up cuttlefish so this is cuttlefish collected straight from the beach and um, I would collect it for the birds but I took I stole some small pieces of cuttlefish and I'm gonna wash it up and that will last my hermit crabs quite a while um, okay this I can't wait to see them climbing all over. I don't know why I'm so excited, but it's basically like a spongy coral type thing. And I got this from the beach too, so I need to give it a good clean. But I can't wait to see them climb on that. I've also got these for climbing. Um, yeah. These are just some shells. And see, I don't think they'll go into those shells. But um, yeah, so. They've got little bumps on them, and I thought it might be quite cool for them to climb on them. And also decoration. <laughs> um, I've also got these for like decoration. I could use them as dishes, but they're they're a bit small. Um, so climb on, and I don't know decoration. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to get a small uh, two hermit crabs and. Um, I want them to be like not too small but I do want small ones because the smaller ones take less time to molt than larger ones and I'm really worried for their first molt because I don't want it to go under the sand and not come back up and then one day I just smell a horrible fishy smell and you know that would be quite upsetting for me um, especially all the work I'm putting into it like I'm even making them stuff and yeah so it would be really upsetting if I'm passed away and you know, it would, I'm just really scared for their first molt. So if anyone has any advice of how to make their molt not quicker, just like easier for them and you know me, then please leave comments. Anyway, so this is the smallest shell I've got. So I'm going to have to get hermit crabs that could probably fit in some of the shells I've got. So this is my small one. If my hermit crabs need different shells, then I will get them different shells. But these are just the ones that I had around the house. So these are the next size up shells and I know that it's a bit hard for them to move around because it's so long so they can't get into um, like little huts and stuff um, but this is the best I can do at the moment because at the pet shop one shell is like six seven dollars and I don't really want to pay that money unless I have to so there's those shells and I actually really like these um, I can't wait to see this one all cleaned up. I'm going to boil all the shells. It's got a different shape to it too. So it's like a little raindrop. And I really like this shell. So I really hope they use it once I clean it up. Then I've got four green shells. So, and all four of them are different sizes. So we've got these two are similar sizes. Um, they're also quite similar to this one, but this has a different shape. So those are those. Yeah. And then these are my two big shells. So when my crabs are much bigger, because I don't want crabs this big yet. <laughs> I want to watch them grow. Um, yeah. So that's those ones. So they're my shells. And I believe that's all I've got today. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you if you've made it this far. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you updated and you'll see my hermit crabs when I get them. And I'll have another video up tomorrow because I'm going down town and I am getting um, the rest of the stuff I need. But the heat mat is coming on eBay. So once that is here, then I can go get my hermit crabs. So I don't know when that will be, but hopefully it will be in less than a month. So I can't wait and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.